498 royalty free techno dubstep music songs. I'm not gonna run out of music. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, pretty much been sporadic as far as my posts, which I realize. Very confused as to what this whole point is, as to what I'm trying to do. Um, I, I write poetry, like, I motivate, like, I do, like, I do so many, I do so many things during these vlogs, and I really have no direction, which is probably why I only have 108 subscribers, which, shout out as fuck to every single one of you, because, like, I had this goal in the beginning of the year when YouTube ended up telling me, like, you need a thousand dollars, uh, a thousand dollars, you need a thousand subscribers to actually become monetized, that as well as a thousand view hours, I have like several thousand view hours on my videos, but I don't have that many subscribers, so that's, that's the tough part, um, yeah, I got 108 people, thank you for all of you, please, if you're watching this right now, put in the comments what I can do, what you enjoy of my videos, why you subscribed, what I can change, what I can enhance, like, let me know, like, let me know anything, let me know anything, because I'm open to it all, so, yeah, I've been realizing, um, I watch a lot of Gary Vee, and I just saw this one video where he said, like, triple down on yourself, like, on what you like, what you enjoy, and it's really interesting, because, like, I'm trying to think of what I enjoy and what I like, and, I'm sure a lot of you are also at the same point, so if uh, not even trying to like clickbait, like get comments, just I'm really curious to like I'm putting myself out there. I want to see the feedback. I want to see like if you're watching me, why are you watching me? Like I want to ask you questions. I want you to reply. I want you to talk back. Like I th this pretty much comes from when I was at work the other day. Um, one of my most lit friends, which I doubt he would ever see this video because I don't really share it, but his name's uh, Kamal, and he's expanded as fuck, and he's so much younger than me because I'm like 27, and I think he's 21, and he asked me what my dream was, and at the time, I was having like major dream issues, just non-stop, like recurring, like I kept dying and just crazy shit for like a long time. And I'm like, how'd you know about my dreams? And he's like, I didn't. I'm asking you what your dream is. And I was like, what do you mean? So he ended up explaining it and just time after time kept asking me, what, what, what's your dream? What's your, RJ, what's your dream? RJ, what's your dream? What, what, what do you dream of? And I don't know, I guess I got like to a certain point in my growth and development in life after just trying that I realized I just want to see people stop suffering. I don't want people to suffer. I want everybody to just, just to like flick their switch on to wake up and that's it. Like just, if, if everybody were to realize that we sell ourselves short every single day when in fact we're fucking priceless then people would be at much different spots in their life. Like, they would be far different people than they are. But we constantly sell ourselves short. Even though we're priceless. Like, why Why would anybody who has something that's priceless sell it short? Why would you put a number on something that's infinite? Why would you make something finite? Why would you create your own boundaries? Like, So, I mean, that's what I would really want. You know, like, because when you're there, when you're happy, it doesn't matter how much money you have or how much friends you have, whatever you're doing, as long as you're happy, genuine, genuinely happy, then fucking you got there. Like, you, you got it and you did it. But I'm figuring out who I am and what I'm trying to be and where I'm trying to go. And every time I think I get a a minute little grasp on that concept it fucking disappears 
because I'm, we're always forever evolving, and everything this this education, this intellectualism, this this just this clarity comes from hindsight and from my memories and from you you fail and you fail and you fail. Eventually, you realize you need to fail, but fail better. Like you not need to fail. You will always fail. So you realize at a certain point, like you just need to fail better. And it's just like, damn. I mean, it's true. Uh, you know, a year ago, like, we got this carpet cleaning business. A year ago, I wasn't even... I had no no comprehension about this. But my dad, he likes starting businesses. And he literally just so happened to Google, like, the top five or ten most... Um, I guess the most profitable or the easiest businesses to start in Palm Beach County, which is my county, Palm Beach County, Florida. And carpet cleaning was one of them. So we ended up, he ended up looking into that, found out how much it would cost. Um, we discussed it. We ended up paying for it. We paid for the insurance, the business insurance, the loan for the machine, paying for everything. We got somebody working with us. Like, we're run we're co-owners with these other people. Like, this whole thing is, like, floating and forming. And a year ago, I would have been like, what? Actually, I was like, what? You want to start a carpet cleaning business? Like, I don't even know how to do that. And now I'm here making executive decisions. So, like, I make these videos, I really, I, I, like, I'm pretty sure I don't know what the point of these are, even though I try to have some sort of guideline, like, no. You know, I wanted to show you, 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 like, everybody, all my viewers, like, it's possible to hold your breath for three minutes. So I made a series about it, but I'm not about swimming or holding your breath. I made a whole series about working out, but I'm not about working out. Or, I mean, I am. Like, see, I make these things that I think I'm about, but I'm not about that. I'm about all of it. So, really, mainly, if you guys can just let me know what to do, what you would like to see, what you would like me to comment or reply or speak about, that would do so much for me, and that would help me interact with you guys so much more, which is really what I want to do. I just want to, like, get out there and talk to people. Like, let them know, like, there, there's so many things that I wish somebody told me had they gotten it. But now the internet exists. And now people can just tell people things. And whether you take it to heart or not, or whether it's effective or not, like, there's, there's just, there's shit I want to get out there. And I guess that's the new goal for whatever this is that I'm doing. Like, the main quest is like way over there on a fucking yacht, and I'm just here like, like being pulled along by the wind current, holding an umbrella on top of a surfboard in the middle of an ocean, doing whatever the fuck this is. Like, just have fun with life. Just have fun with life. Like, I was used to make a joke about how you should poke life with a stick, and I realize it's not about poking it with a stick. It's about walking right the fuck up to it. And, like, kicking it, turning it over, checking if it's dead, being like, oh, shit, it's dead, or it's alive, whatever. Whatever you want to do, if you just find a lump of life. Whether you call it dead or alive, it doesn't matter. It's, it is whatever you, it, like, it, it is what it is. It's, it's what you call it. So you pick up a dead life, throw it over your shoulder, huck it, and keep walking. You pick up an alive life, huck it over your shoulder, Keep walking. Like, finding the life that you have, whether it's alive or dead, and then carrying it with you, and the journey that you go to take it or to do with it, whatever you do or wherever you go, that's that's the whole point. And the beauty is, it, it lies in the journey. So, for real, if you can, please, tell me what I can reply about. Give me questions, comments, complaints, anything. That way I can talk about you, myself, and we can just blow this thing up into tons of conversations. Fuck it, who knows, you know. Um, but I gotta end it stereotypically in a YouTuber vlogger format. It's all cool. I forgot how to blink again. It's one eye, right?
It's all cool.